This video is brought to you by the Ultimate Nature Creature Add-on Bundle for Blender, Spider 5 Plus Nasarga Lite, available for download on BlenderMarket.com. Alright guys, how do we easily add scratch maps in Blender to add a bit more realism to our 3D models? First, find one or two scratch map images that you want to use. I recommend getting a seamless one so you can increase or decrease the scratches across your 3D model by scaling the UV map without seeing any noticeable tiling. I'll use these two scratch maps from cgtextures.com. The white parts of these images will be telling the 3D software where the model will be scratched, and the black part of the image will simply show our basic diffuse material. Once you've downloaded your scratch maps, let's open up Blender. In order to apply these scratch maps over the diffuse material without adjusting its UV map, we need to create a new UV map for our scratches. To do this, go into edit mode with your 3D model selected. Make sure all of your vertices are selected as well, and then in the object data properties, add a new UV map and name it. With this new UV map slot selected in edit mode, press U and Smart UV project your model to create Create your UVs. Now import your scratch map texture in your material node setup with an image texture node. Add a UV map node and connect this output to your scratch map vector input and select the new UV map that you have created. To use this data to drive scratches, connect it to the metallic and roughness inputs of the original principled BSDF shader and add an invert node before it reaches the roughness shader. Now you have effectively added a scratch map on the top of your model, but you may want to enhance this effect further. Add a color ramp after your scratch map and bring the white value over to enhance the scratches. You can also lift the black slider to make the metallic look bleed through the rest of your model as well. To make the scratches more intense, add a color mix shader before your diffuse map reaches the base color input of the principled BSDF shader. Now by connecting your scratch map data to the factor input of this mix node, you can change the color of your scratches and make them stand out more. You can adjust the scale of your scratches UV map in the UV editing tab, and to create even more wear and tear, stack multiple scratch maps on top of each other by repeating this process and adding them together using a basic add node before they reach the main color ramp. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Subscribe if you're interested in more visual effects and filmmaking content, and I'll see you next time.